from VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. In Cuba, the Internet and other forms of modern communication are not easily available. Most people have smartphones, but they are limited to making and receiving calls. It is difficult to connect to social media, send emails, and text. Most Cubans do not have an internet connection in their homes. To use the internet, they first must buy a password. Businesses sell them on little pieces of paper. Each password costs about two and a half Cuban convertible pesos. That is equal to about $2.50. Users then go to a public park or a hotel with an internet connection. In a park about 15 minutes from downtown Havana, hundreds of Cubans come at all times of the day and night to use the internet. Recently, about 50 people were there, each holding a phone, talking with friends, and family, or catching up on social networks. Suki John was born in New York. He is a dance teacher and has been coming to Cuba to work for many years. He goes to the park to connect to the internet and says it is now more available. John says using the internet was not possible when he was in Cuba a year and a half ago. Things have improved because American President Barack Obama and Cuban President Raul Castro are talking, John says. Having the internet in parks has let Cubans learn what is happening in the rest of the world, he says. It costs about $3 an hour to connect to the Internet. That is too costly for many Cubans who earn about $30 a month. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.